Hey guys, and welcome back to another season of Discovery Gold Farming video. In this one, I've got another steady gold farm to do in the open world. So what we're gonna be farming for are the essence of water. There's actually two farming locations. The first one has a higher drop chance, being 6% drop chance, and the mobs are actually lower level. So we'll start off with this farm, which is in Fellwood, at this location right here at the lake, and you're gonna be farming the toxic horrors. And these guys are a bit lower level, so the BOEs are lower level, but they have a 6% drop chance on the essence of water. And these are the mobs that you're gonna be farming. They're very, very easy to kill. As you can see, this one's only level 54. So you could even come here as low as like level 53, and you could grind a few levels here and make a lot of gold at the same time. And they have the highest drop chance in the game to get your hands on the essence of water. The only downside about this farm compared to the other one is because the mobs are a bit lower level, the BOEs that you get from these guys are also going to be a bit lower level. That is why I'm also going to include the second farm, which has some mobs that are a bit higher level, but the drop chance on the essence of water is also a bit lower. There are still a few epics that you can get from these guys right here that are worth a decent amount of gold but obviously they are pretty rare to get. The main item that you're gonna be farming for and hoping to get when doing this farm is the essence of water. That is what is going to be making the majority of the gold here. There's not too much other things that you can get from these guys except the essence of water. So I'd recommend checking the auction house for the price of essence of water. Moving on to the second farm, this is obviously gonna be another essence of water farm and they have a 2% drop chance, but they also drop elemental water and these are located over in Eastern Plaguelands at this location right here. Now these guys are a bit higher level, so the BOEs that you get from them can be a tiny bit better, but they're only like one level higher, like the higher, highest level ones here are like one or two levels higher than the other location. Um, but when, I've, when I was doing this one, I found that there's barely any competition at this location. So if the first location with 6% drop chance on the essence of water, um, if there's just too much competition there, you could come over to this location and you might be able to have it all to yourself. And um, it's still a pretty good gold farm. However, it is only a 2% drop chance compared to the other location, which is a 6% drop chance. So there's a pretty big difference when it comes to the drop chance of the essence of water. But I thought I might as well also show you this location too, just in case there is competition at the other location. And obviously you can get some decent BOEs from these guys which once again, you could either sell on the auction house where you could disenchant them, or if they're not worth doing either of those, you could just straight up vendor them for some raw gold. Now, if you had like a, is it like a flask of breathing underwater, whatever it's called, if you had that, you could probably cruise around the water pretty quickly. Also, if you had a druid with a uh, travel floor form, you could also cruise around and do this farm a lot quicker. They do actually put a debuff on you whenever you're in your water, whenever you're in the water, it'll actually slow your movement speed down by quite a lot. So this can get kind of annoying. However, doing this farm, you probably won't have any competition whatsoever. So it's a pretty good farm to do, but I would personally recommend doing the first farm that I showed in the video, because obviously it has a 6% drop chance on the essence of water, and these guys only have a 2% drop chance. Let me know down in the comments, what has been your favorite open world gold farm in phase four so far? I know the prices on a lot of the materials have went down quite a bit. So I've been working on a few other ways to actually farm gold without farming materials that have went down in price. So I've got a few really good videos coming very, very soon for everyone. So if you're not subscribed already, make sure you hit the subscribe button so you can keep notified for the future videos. However, that was it for the video. If you enjoyed, hit the thumbs up. And also, if you'd like to learn more about making gold in Season of Discovery, you can check out my complete Season of Discovery Gold Guide. This goes over absolutely everything you need to know about making gold in Season of Discovery. And this is constantly updated with all the latest and best gold farms in Season of Discovery. Also, if you'd like to watch another video on the essence of wind farm, it is up on the screen right now. Until the next one, guys, take care.